The Archon Trust for Culture, through its Historic Cities program, has worked to restore a series of major cultural landmarks. These cultural initiatives, in each case, have also been accompanied by a social and economic rationale, so that the entire project works to improve the well-being of the people who live in these areas. How does this happen? It happens when many components come together, like pieces of a complex puzzle. To begin with, of course, it happens by attracting outside investment. But more than that, it happens when the indigenous population can be intimately involved in the work of restoration itself, and when training in restoration and conservation is provided as an integral part of the project. It happens when the restored site can become the home for a range of newly active civic and commercial institutions, and when the completed project is so attractive to visitors that it produces a flow of new income that not only sustains the site, but also improves the life of the surrounding neighborhood. All of this happens most successfully when people from the community are employed directly at the site and at supporting facilities such as the Serena Inn, just down the road from here, which not only pays local taxes, but also provides employment for some 120 people. Finally, the economic and social impact of these restoration projects can be multiplied even more powerfully through the use of microcredit.